What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be painting the Jeep. A lot of you guys threw out some ideas on what type of fishing lure we should paint to look like. A little hesitant to do that because I don't know that I'd be able to pull it off and I am daily driving it. So if it was an ugly looking crawl thing, I don't know that I should have that parked out my place, outside of my place of employment. But, did have an idea. So Rob, thanks for the idea Rob, was saying how about matte black? I was like, eh, not very original, but then, then I was working on some stencil packages and this is what I've been using for my new stencil packages. So I think if we did it in matte black with some white splatter on it and then put your guys' stickers over here on these back windows, that would look pretty good. Now, I'm not too, I'm, I'm gonna do it half good, half bad. I'm not too worried about it being perfect. So basically all I'm gonna do is rough it up, spray some paint, hope it sticks, and then if anything falls off, we'll just add a little bit more paint on there. When we got it inspected, the guy, <laughs> The inspector literally told my wife, he's like, you might might want to consider getting a new vehicle soon. I'm like, this is our new vehicle. But don't mistake me talking about this thing being a pile of junk as complaining. This car is actually a huge blessing because right now our good car is uh, broken as well. I still have a bunch of tools laying out there. I uh, got parts ordered for it, so today we're going to so today we're going to focus on getting the Jeep painted. We got good weather. I know if I don't do it today that next weekend the weather is going to be raining or something like that. So let's run up to Lowe's and uh, we'll buy some paint and get to work. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how YouTubers go in stores and film. I'm not that confident yet, I guess. But anyways, we got some Bedliner Rust-Oleum paint. It's uh, black and textured, non-skid. So yeah, <laughs> plan of attack though is to rough it up, wipe it down, paint it, um, and just kind of go section by section. So. You're probably gonna see a lot of time lapse. But I also got a can of matte white Rust-Oleum paint so we can do the splatters with it. I think I got four, four cans of those. I don't remember exactly. Let's see. Oh, and some tape, because we gotta mask off a couple spots. Boom. Boom. And something else I'm thinking that we should do is uh, these wood portions on the inside would sure look nice if those were black with white splatter as well. But I know I got, yes, haha, <laughs> one more can. So I'm gonna start roughing up the paint on the Jeep. That way we can get to work. And we've got my lovely wife. I don't think you've been in a YouTube video yet, have you? Okay. Don't think so. So she's taking the lights off so we don't paint them. We also got Obi back there, and it's his birthday. How old are you today, Obi? Six. Six. Happy birthday. Main reason for sanding, Taylor, is to knock all the bird poop off. Okay, got her almost done, ready for paint. And uh, before anyone says anything about doing it the wrong way or I shouldn't be using rattle cans, the Jeep literally has holes rusted through the frame, right? That's what the guy told you? Two of them. Yeah, holes rusted through the frame and there's not enough metal there to like weld on new parts to make it stronger. And I just discovered something else too, let me show you. I was sitting back here, stood on the bumper whole bumper is getting ready to fall off. So obviously I'm not terribly concerned about the Jeep, <laughs> but we're gonna make it look good, isn't that right? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> but yep, going to uh, finish taping off some stuff and then wipe her down and start painting. What's the uh, strategy? My plan is just to go in straight lines and make sure not to spray any of the things we've got taped up. Perfect. My plan, or what I, I think we should start with the hood. Mm -hmm. That way we're not leaning over it and then save the roof for last. So if we run out of paint. <laughs> At least the roof. At least everything else matches, roof. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I was also thinking with the textured non-skid it might you know blend in it says it prevents rust so hopefully it'll reverse the effects of rust and make it good that's a wishful thinking there sir are you gonna, gonna a, do the honors to get started there's a hole in the cap that's fine. Uh, i missed the spot Yes, I know. I think we could use a couple more cans of paint, but... The whole thing has a nice coat of paint on it. With the exception. With the exception of the roof, of course, like like we said earlier. I think it could use another another solid coat. What do you think? I think if you get five more cans, two coats on the top, and then you'll be able to get your second coat around. Yep. Uh, but of course, she's gonna just have to dry, and there might have to be another project. But you know what's next after this dries? Splatter. The splatter. Splatter on until after you got the second coat on. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. So. Yeah. Now my leg is all polka dotted too. So I guess the splatter will have to wait. But she looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. She's been sitting out, drying, and definitely dry to the touch. So what we're going to do is peel the tape off and then go for a drive. Grab some more paint. I really just need to paint the top of it uh, and then touch up some spots on the side so I'm not too worried about the windows and stuff. So we're gonna peel all the tape off. That way we don't look like morons driving down the road. And uh, go get some more paint. Much later in the day, but look how beautiful she looks. We got the second coat on her. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. And if you decide to paint your Jeep and you get paint on the windows. Little Windex and a little little scraper takes it right off. Or you can leave it on there for some DIY window tint. But I think what we're gonna do, I'm kinda nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Cause it's not like a blank fishing leader blank where I can just start over easy if I mess up. But I think we're gonna splatter it now, but I'm gonna leave that all up, well, for the most part up to Taylor. So let's, uh, let's open the paint. Is uh, Rust-Oleum, it's oil-based, so it's probably not gonna dry for three years. It's gonna stay wet, especially with the humidity. And a butter knife, because I was also thinking, Taylor, if we put this in there, you might get some nice long splatters. But I think our first method of approach is gonna be to, we got some rubber gloves we're gonna put on and then splatter like that. And that's probably gonna get all over the windows too, but that's okay. Well, we so we did drive it up, uh, we drove it uptown to get more of that paint, and I still haven't got a Jeep Wave. So I'm hoping the splatter's gonna show that I'm cool. <laughs> so I can get a Jeep Wave. You're cool no matter what. Not Jeep cool. Mm, okay. Have to be Jeep cool. I've got a Jeep, I gotta be Jeep cool. I'm up there. Oh. 
I love it. I got a lot of pain on my fingers. Nice, nice. I didn't know you were so good at this. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bird. <laughs> it's gonna look like it's gonna look like a big bird took a dump on our car. I mean, we're, we're gonna clean the windows again, right? Uh. <laughs> it's part of it now. Well, do do a little bit up there. I think it could use some. Yeah. Nice. We, we should uh, go to parking lots and do this for free for people. Man, I was gonna do some too, but I think, like, <laughs> that looks so cool. If this don't get a Jeep wave, we could make him look like the Jeep. No, no, <laughs> not happening. You want your birthday okay. present to look Run cool? Run away. Run away. <laughs> Like, okay, Man. I definitely like the long ones. Yep. And fewer little ones. Uh, okay. So that's just a. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Man, that was the window I just cleaned. <laughs> Told you you should have waited. Obi, you're in the firing range. Obi, go lay down. You're... He's wanting another mouse, is what he's wanting. Oh yeah, Obi caught a mouse from the Jeep earlier. Nice work, Taylor. <laughs> we need a little more right here, I think. I think you missed a spot. <laughs> okay. What do you think? I like it, but I think you should take a turn. Okay. Yeah, so we had this nice black Jeep. You guys wouldn't believe what happened. We're driving down the road and it hit a can of white that, That's what it looks like. Is that what you're doing? Just putting a little... It, pretty much. Ooh. That was nice! I see why you giggling the whole time. <laughs> I think you missed the spot. Oh yeah, we're, we're coming back for one of those. <laughs> Alright, you ready for this one? I am so ready. <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> you just... That's funny. Alright, let's go on. Oh, I thought we already did this side. No! No, we only did the one side. This side's like clean. I need to be on stilts to film you. I would say it'd probably have been smart to go ahead and tape the windows off. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. We have to clean them anyways. It'll be fine. I swear. So you know like when you get a new vehicle or you're thinking about buying one you start noticing them all over the place? I swear if I see another black Jeep Cherokee with white splatter all over it, I'm gonna have to do repaint the whole thing. Did you get the dog? Because it kind of looks like he's gotten splatter well, on him. <laughs> Obi, what are you doing? What are you doing?
it's all painted. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I am ready now. I think we're gonna go ahead and put some stickers on this back window. We got this back window and the entire back window over here too, on, and these on both sides. If you guys have a sticker you want to send to me, to put on the Tackle the Dream Jeep, uh, message me. I have, I'll have my Instagram and my Facebook linked below. You can shoot me a message and that way I can get you an address for you to ship the sticker to. Make sure uh, if you ship a sticker you include your name and stuff like that because I do plan on still doing that vinyl, printed vinyl on the hood. Uh, I just got to get all the names first because it's going to be kind of like print them all at the same time, put them all on there. So I'm going to start saving names like that. I still need to do a little bit more cleaning on the windows and then also we've got the tire or the rims that I'm going to be painting too. So hopefully next time you guys see the Jeep will either be in a fishing video or whenever we're putting some stickers on. But like I said, message me below on Instagram and or Facebook and I'll get you guys an address so you can ship some stickers over. And I hope you guys liked the idea of the splatter paint on the Jeep. Uh, I think I'm going to try to cut out a stencil that says Baker Build so I can put it on there and just paint that on, the white on. Uh, no Jeep Wave yet. I've only driven it over here this morning and last night, but it was dark, so nobody could really see it. I had one lady that's kind of looking at me kind of weird, but I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Not too bad for a one day Jeep paint. <laughs> All right, hope you guys have a phenomenal week and that you're doing something to be able to tackle your dream. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Happy birthday. Thank you.